Take a look at the conference standings. Oh, damn it. Power back. <laughs> Darn cords, yeah. anyway. Uh, take a look at the conference standings. We've got uh, Nielsville there on top. Just a half game ahead of Columbus Catholic. Columbus Catholic is 9 and 1, Nielsville 10 and 1. And then Colby is right there at 10 and 2. Joined here on the broadcast tonight by Dick Olson. And Dick, we've talked about this game. Yeah. Almost as much as we talked about that Columbus yeah, Catholic yeah, there's game. A, you know, there's a path to that game uh, Monday night, Larry. There's a path for uh, Colby. To, you know, these three teams end up in a three-way tie. You know, Colby would have to beat Nilsville tonight, and then Loyal uh, Nils will beat Columbus on the 21st. So it's a, a huge, huge game uh, here. Uh, yeah, it was a great game, a uh, six-point game up at Colby in December. Uh, Nilzo uh, was down twice by double digits, once in the first half, once in the second half, and uh, and came back and, and won the game. And we'll see what happens tonight. Hopefully, the the home court is good. The, the Warriors typically play well here in the field house, and uh, we'll see what happens. So. Other games tonight in the Cloverbell Conference. We've got Columbus Catholic. They are at Gilman tonight. Spencer is at Loyal. Stanley Boyd at Regis. Thorpe is at Osseo Fairchild. Fall Creek is at Cadott, and McDonnell is at Bloomer tonight in boys basketball. More on this game coming up on the Next Generation Electrical pregame report. Grassland Dairy Products is your match for an exciting new career today. Go to grassland.com to see the opportunities waiting for you. Browse through careers like CDL truck driver, shipping and receiving, line tech, quality assurance, forklift, maintenance tech, inventory associates, and more. Great compensation, weekly pay, and zero premium company paid health, dental, and life. Apply now at grassland.com or in person at Grassland Dairy Products, Fairground Avenue, just south of Greenwood. From first contact at Dental Clinic of Marshfield, their dentists are committed to your individual attention and strive to provide personalized oral health care. They work hard to create the ultimate stress-free and comfortable dental experience. It is their mission to educate and provide the patients with the best dental care in central Wisconsin. Whether you're looking for information on implants, teeth whitening, crowns, orthodontics, dentures, or any dental service, Dental Clinic of Marshfield has it for you. You can book your appointment online at dentalclinicofmarshfield.com or give them a call at one of their three locations in Marshfield, Stratford, or Nielsville today. Really got to understand what <clears throat> what a nurse is. Do they do they focus on you? You know, do they make sure that you're comfortable? And you know, that's what Chai has. It's the connection that he has. You know, my best interest in mind always. Why wait another day? Let's take the next step together towards a better life. Want to save even more at Fleet Farm? Well, now you can with Fleet Rewards. It's free to sign up and there's no credit card required. Using Fleet Rewards is easy. Earn points every time you shop. Plus, get exclusive member offers, birthday and anniversary perks, free tire rotations, and more. Download the Fleet Farm app or create an account at fleetfarm.com slash rewards to start earning points today. Fleet Farm, proudly serving the Midwest since 1955. Nielsville 15 and 5 on the season. Colby 13 and 4. One of the things though, Colby has not played since last Friday, while Nielsville's had two tough games early this week. Yeah, you know, uh, what uh, well actually you go back to last Friday night, up to Loyal and then uh, uh, over to Columbus for the double overtime one on Monday night, and then up to Stratford on Tuesday night for a very good Stratford team. And uh, you wonder what the toll is. The Warriors go seven. Sometimes eight deep. Uh, we'll see what kind of legs they got. Hopefully, they got a good day of rest yesterday, and uh, we'll see what happens today. So, but uh, one uh, one thing I did see here, Larry uh, Brody Decker, uh, senior for Colby, is not dressed tonight. He's down on the the bench, and that's uh, might be significant. He's averaging almost 12 points a game, and uh, 
Uh, pretty good outside shooter. Inside, he's 42% three-point shooter. So, but he is at, he is in street clothes tonight. So we'll see what happens. Two of the top scorers in the conference yep. will be going at it tonight. In Richard Strebler, he's the top scorer yep. at 19 points a game, and Andrew Brown at 17 and a half. Yeah is number two in the conference. Yeah, and then you have the top three rebounders too, Larry. Um, uh, Mason Renz at 8.7 is first. Uh, Savannah, Savannah, uh, Santana Subke uh, is number two at 8.1, and then uh, Healy from Colby is third at 7.5. So, so lots of good stats here uh, from both these teams. And it looks like uh, we're going to get a lot of people here tonight to watch yeah. this one as well. The student section is in camouflage. Locked and loaded over there. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Uh, I do think uh, Mr. Craig did put the kibosh on some duck, duck calls I did here, so. Okay. <laughs> I think he went over and put the kibosh on that, so. Show a little sportsmanship yes, tonight. Yes, uh, yeah, that, you know, it's one thing to dress and be loud, but uh, something like that can disrupt the game and it's very poor sportsmanship, so. All right, so Nielsville and Colby. Nielsville looking to hang on to uh, a share of first place with Columbus Catholic, set up that showdown on the 21st of this month yep. here in Nielsville, the final game of the regular season. But Colby has other aspirations, yep. and uh, as we yep. mentioned, the last time these two teams met, very close game that Nielsville had to hang on yep. at the end to win by six. Yep. Yep. That's your Next Generation Electrical pregame report. We'll be back with the starting lineups and the start of tonight's game after this. Masonville Dairy, family owned and operated, bringing you fresh cheese curds made daily, along with many other varieties of Wisconsin made cheeses and treats. Don't forget to check out our cheese and sausage trays for your upcoming parties and cheese and sausage gift packages for the holiday season or any other special occasion. Masonville Dairy, located just southwest of Marshfield on US Highway 10, masonvilledairy.com. Little Sprouts is now open in Rudolph with the same great child care you know about in Auburndale. Here's Brooke Sievers to tell us about it. The community here in Rudolph has been extremely welcoming and we're excited to serve here just like we do up in Auburndale. Part of the process is to help out the school districts and to help the children stay, their 4K children to stay close and get services right here. We serve here in Rudolph one year olds up until 12 year olds and up in Auburndale we serve um, six weeks old until 12 year olds. Our Auburndale pea pods, wiggle worms, busy bees, and fireflies welcome the Rudolph sweet potatoes, lovely ladybugs, and beautiful butterflies. Contact Little Sprouts Learning Garden on Facebook today. Bauer and Fine Business Technologies is your complete office technology solution. For 60 years, Bauer and Fine Business Technologies has been serving school districts, municipalities, counties, religious organizations, and businesses in Wisconsin and beyond. Visit b-bt.com and let Bauer & Fine Business Technologies be your complete office technology solution. That's b-bt.com. And good evening and welcome back here to the Fieldhouse in Nielsville as we get ready for a big Eastern Clarabel Conference boys basketball matchup. Larry Hazer along with Dick Olson. 92.7 WPKG, 92.7 WPKG.com and ZaleskiSports.com tonight. Let's take a look at the starters for the Colby Hornets. They will have Richard Strevler, their leading scorer. He's a senior. Brandon Velker is a senior. Mateo Lopez is a junior. 
Caden Healy is a junior, and Caden we uh, Weiss is a junior for the Hornets. They come out in the green uniforms tonight with the white lettering. For the Dalesville Warriors, it'll be their usual starting lineup they've had pretty much all year long. Bryce Erickson, a sophomore. Drew Brown, a junior. Alex Roman, a junior. And then your two seniors down low, Mason Renz and Santana Subke. And what a game Mason Renz had yep. the other night against yep. Marshall Columbus. Yeah, and we need him to follow that up again tonight, Larry. With, uh, with the height advantage they have, that's going to be key. Him and Subke uh, against Colby inside. But All the right. Warriors do need to hit some outside shots, so Colby's not sagging in on those guys. Subkey will jump it up against Healy. And we are underway. Tip controlled by the Hornets in the backcourt. They will work it around this 2-3 zone yep. put on by the Warriors. Lopez skips it near side. Runner is good. Left baseline for Velker. So the Hornets out to a 2-0 lead. A little pressure oh. put on. In the backcourt, they get it down inside. Renz off the glass and in. Beautiful press break. Wow, is that a beautiful press break. A cross-court pass to Roman, and Roman with the entry pass to Renz. I don't think they bounced the ball except no, for Brown. Just a little bit over here. Brown being nice and patient. Off the glass on that shot from Lopez. No good. Rebound Subke. Last time these two teams played, I look yeah, back on the yeah, stats, yeah. Subke had 22 rebounds. Yes, he was just awesome on the glass. I, I went back and watched the replay of that game. Brown out on top. Goes to Erickson. Roman out on top, almost stolen, and now they're going to get a foul on Lopez colliding with Erickson. Lopez got in foul trouble last time, Larry, and, and I believe he fouled out, so... So the first foul in the ball game. Warriors will have it. Brown works in the corner. Roman open three off the rim, no good. Brown though is going to chase down the long rebound. Dumps it for Subkey along the baseline. Subkey in traffic, can't get it to go. Ball tapped around and controlled by Healy. Quickly into the front court, they come to Weiss. Ball knocked into the crowd by Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Colby will inbound on the far side right next to that. The camouflage crew. Boisterous <laughs> student section over there for Dealsville. Yeah, they came loaded tonight <laughs> for Bear. Velker inside, shot good. And that was Healy. Yep. Nice pass to Healy along the baseline, went and put it in. 4-2 Colby, 16-10 left to go here in the first half of play as Renz got inside. And he got hacked down the arm by Weiss. This is a refing crew, Larry, I have never seen before. And you are all, right. all fairly young, too. Which is always a good thing. Yes, absolutely. Renz at the free throw line. First one on the way for Mason is good. Renz on the season averages almost 12 a game. He's a 52% free throw shooter. He's increased that free yeah. throw percentage all yeah. year. Second one, off the rim, no good. Rebound, Lopez. 4-3, Hornets. 16 minutes to go, first half. Shot on the way from the outside is good, and that is Weiss. Yep. Or is it Weezy? Weezy, Weezy. Uh, Weezy, okay. Whatever it is, he's a 31% he's a uh, three-point shooter, Larry. 33 out of 106, and he nailed that one. Well, without Brody Decker in yeah. there, you're going to have to have somebody yeah, pick up some a little bit of score. They're going to need some outside shots, and Weezy might be the guy, along with Velker, too. So so a timeout on the floor, 7-3, Colby. Just under 16 minutes to go here in this first half. <laughs> Boys hockey coming up tomorrow night here on 92-7. Black River Falls co-op against Toma Sparta. Down at Milt Lunda Arena tomorrow night starting at 7. And I was just informed tonight, Larry, that uh, we are going to be doing a live stream for the regional wrestling tournament Saturday. We will have two different of the school channels, so one covering each mat at the regional tournament Saturday. So it, 
That'll be gonna, a lot of fun for the people in town. So, are you going to be doing the? Uh, yes, I am. Yep. Showing what my ex are. Oh, that bad pass by Brown there. There's a steal yeah. uh, by the Hornets. That's Velker. Brown got caught up in the air. Yeah, he didn't yeah, really get a lot yeah, on right, that pass. Yeah, he's got nothing on it. And pass near side for Strebler. He gets it on the wing. Goes Ooh. against Brown. Moving the ball very well they are. Velker, hop step, runner in the uh, paint is good for Velker. He's got four. And the lead is yeah, six for the Hornets. Getting some penetration inside that 2-3 zone. Erickson into the corner and he threw it away. He yeah. threw it over the head of Coach Flink. Yeah. Yeah, Warriors just looked like it come out just a little tense here. Six point lead for the Hornets mm -hmm. early on here. About three minutes yeah. into this first half. Michael Byrne in the game now for uh, Renz. Lowry's also out there yeah. for the Warriors. Down inside they go, off the glass and in for Healy. 11-3, Hornets. Okay, the way the first game pulled out, you know, Warriors uh, got dominated the first half for the most part till the end, so. Brown kicks it out, Erickson quickly into the corner, Lowry, left side, back out Erickson. He'll reset out to Drew Brown on the right wing. Erickson, down inside Subkey, puts it down, fade away, Subkey, good. 11-5, Colby. 14-19 to go, first half. Into the front court, pulling up, left elbow, that was too easy for Weezy. Yeah. Warriors got to uh, be picking up a lot faster than that. Eight point lead again for the Hornets. Erickson. Lowry on the wing, back out Erickson. Kicks it to Brown, left wing, into the left corner. Burn, three on the way, is no good. Comes short. up short. Velker comes out of there with it for the Hornets. Wheezy. Cross to Strebler. Strebler quiet so far. Yeah. Over. Velker, baseline, jumper, nice blocked by Subke. Picked off by Lowry. Ooh. And then Lowry gets fouled by Lopez. Kind of a silly foul by Lopez. Nope, check, they're going to call that on Velker. Oh, okay. I didn't see Velker even in the area. but I know Lopez pointed to Velker. I don't yeah. think he wanted his second <laughs> yeah, foul. Yeah. And the official, well, gave it to gave him. Gave it to him, so... Eight-point lead for Colby, 13-25 to go here in this first half. Erickson, ball knocked away, Wheezy yeah. ahead to Lopez. Lopez against Brown, misses the shot, Lowry yeah. comes away with it. Brown did a good job of altering that one for him. Subkey, nice. touch pass to Renz underneath, off the glass and in. Renz with five early points here for the Warriors. Lopez into the front court, right side. Over to Strebler. Strebler in the corner. Wheezy pulls up. Baseline. Good. Boy, Wheezy's having a good first yeah. half so far. Yeah, he's uh, Santana uh, jumped up to try to block the shot. He's got to hold his position there. Seven in the game for Wheezy. Brown works into the paint. Now kicks it out to Erickson. Erickson goes back to Brown, left side. Brown for three, off the rim, no good. Renz got the rebound. Renz goes back up strong, misses oh. the shot though. And it was last oh, touch by Subke. Mm. Weezy may have got an elbow yeah. in the face. Roman back yeah. in for the Warriors. Pretty good look they had, but uh, just couldn't get it to drop. 12.24 to go, first half, 15-7, Colby. Strebler in the backcourt. Velker. They finally get it across to Lopez. Across to Strebler. Strebler had a season high yeah. 27 yeah. in their win over Greenwood the other yeah. night. Oh. Lopez pulls up baseline. No. Rebound Lowry. Brown gets it ahead to Roman on the left side. Roman back out to Brown. In the corner, Lowry, three on the way for Tater. Lowry's no good, but Renz is right there to clean it up and put it in. Seven for Renz. Six-point lead for the Hornets. 
Strevler. Now Velker across the top. Oh, right in the paint. Underneath. Healy. Play. Blocked oh. by Subke, but a foul. Wow. Thought Santana got all ball there, but I think the ref said on the arm. So Healy will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Healy on the season. Five points a game. Yeah. And he misses the first free throw. Yeah, as far as free throws on this team, uh, Strebler is an 88% free throw shooter. The team is a 58. Uh, not, not, nobody else is really a great free throw shooter other than Strebler. One of two for Healy. Five points in the game for Caden. The lead is seven for Colby. Roman had it knocked uh, away and then diving after yeah. it, but can't Lopez, come up with his Lopez. Lopez is so quick. Wow, he is quick. Erickson back in for Lowry. 16 9, Colby. 11.25 to go here in the first half. Erickson works out near the top of the key, goes to Brown. Brown thought about a three, hop step in the paint, little leaner is good, got the roll. Brown gets his first points tonight. Little pressure oh. in the backcourt, now nice it's scored by Roman. Roman off the glass and in. And the lead is now three. Timeout, yeah, coach just, Jimmy Flink. Jimmy Flink's gonna put a, a real quick uh, kibosh to this run. Witness the difference of a Catholic education at Columbus Catholic Schools. I think everyone should just know uh, what makes this place special. But come and see. That's just what the Lord always said. And put your toe in the water. There are great schools, and it's a good fit. I'd always want them to come in and to just to feel the goodness and the family atmosphere. I invite everyone just to come in and see what it's about and to see if it might be right for them and their family. We invite you to schedule a tour today. Again. Nielsville, one loss in the conference along with Columbus Catholic. Yeah. Colby with two losses. Yep. Yeah, their two losses are, of course, the Nielsville and, and Columbus. So, Columbus so Catholic and Nielsville, one yeah. more time to play. Yeah. Last game of the season. But these three teams have been the cream of the crop in the Eastern Clover Belt this year. Strebler yeah. works in the backcourt. Gets it ahead to Healy. Now Lopez. Oh, he boy. goes way all oh, over the wow. head of everybody. Nice catch by a Kobe uh, student in the front row there, though. Do they have this section of bleachers down they, below? They so do, but uh, yeah, those Kobe kids came and uh, <laughs> grabbed their territory. So they're right next to the Nielsville student section. I don't see anybody in there that's going to threaten some of the kids <laughs> for size-wise. <laughs> Normally, the, you the, have yeah student sections on it opposite sides, sides. Yeah. but. Uh, Ball thrown away or knocked yeah. away by Colby, so Nielsville will inbound some, underneath. Some pretty big dudes sitting over in that Nielsville section. <laughs> Roman outside, guarded by Lopez closely. Is that a 1-3-1? One, one? Yeah. Looks yep. like it, yep. Brown's going to fire up a three. It's Oof. short. Oof. And the rebound comes to Strebler. Strebler out of there with it on the dribble. It's cut off in the paint. Out to Velker. Back to Strebler okay. between the circles. Good job on the Warriors and getting back on that trip. Strebler works the right side of the lane. Kicks it left side on the wing for Ooh. Velker. Yeah, they got it. Velker guarded closely. Healy, turn around in the paint. No good. Brown with the rebound. 16-13, Colby. Under 10 minutes to go now in this first half. Brown nice. works baseline. Kicks it over oh. to Renz. Wow. I thought Blocked that by Healy, but I a foul. Know. Wow, I thought Healy had all ball on that one, Larry. I really did. Didn't see the other hand, though. Nope. And he doesn't see the body either from up here. So so Healy with his first foul. Fourth on the Hornets. Renz back to the free throw line. First one is good for Mason. Two-point lead now for Colby. Second one on the way. That one is also good. Big base off to a good start with nine points already. Quickly into the front court come the Hornets. Velker across to Strebler. Healy, Lopez, right baseline. Underhands to Velker in the corner. Now back out. Yep, got to get out on those three-point shooters. Lopez, Strebler, top of the wheel, three. Off the rim, no good. Racing, uh, Mason Wren, excuse me, gets the rebound. Got the big paws on her, Larry, and he wasn't giving it up. Vice grips. Yeah. 
Oh. There's a steal by Lopez against Brown. Lopez on the other end, lays it up, count it, and a foul. Lopez yeah. with the quick hands on top. Pretty sloppy ball handling by the Warriors on top there. So to the free throw line goes Mateo Lopez. Mm -hmm. As we see Tevin Rue in yeah. for the first time tonight. And they talk about three pointers. This kid can shoot them. He's uh he had three against the Warriors in the first half. Free throw is no good. Renz gets the rebound. Caden Weezy is actually the guy that's attempted the most. Yeah. 106, 106 of them. Strebler and, and Decker had 92. Wow. Uh, Lopez right. is all over out there. Yeah. Now Lopez is going to get a foul going yeah. after that ball. As he ran into Drew Brown. That will be two on Lopez. Yeah. Right now Lopez is giving Bryce Erickson fits out on top. And you maybe wonder, maybe they should stick uh, Brown out on top. I don't know. But uh, right now, Bryce is having a heck of a time with Lopez picking his pocket. 9.05 left to go, first half. 18-15, Colby. Erickson open, three, tied at 18. <laughs> Erickson hits the three. Tevin Rue ahead to Wheezy. Lobs for Strebler. Healy at the free throw line. Oh, nice. Almost lost. Yeah, and now it is. And now it's oh. a foul. And if it's on Brown, it's That'll a second. Cool. Yep. Nope. No, it's no, going to be on Erickson. 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 Yep. Brown dodged a little bit of a bullet because I think he got just about as much arm as anybody. First on Erickson. Third on the Warriors. Inbound will come from Lopez yeah. underneath. Lopez There's lobs Rue. out. got to get a hand in his face. Wheezy for three. Off the rim. No good. Subkey trying to save it, oh, can't nice, do it. Nice try by Santana. So the Hornets yeah. will inbound underneath. Tucker Meyer coming in for the Hornets and uh, Lopez sitting down with those two fouls. Santana Subkey getting a rest too with Byrne coming in. 8.36 to go in the half, tied at 18. Lob out high, high almost Roman. stolen and it will be stolen by Roman. Roman's gonna go up against the double team and hit the layup. And give the Warriors the lead at 20 to 18. And yeah. now the Hornets have just ah. thrown it away on the inbound. Yeah, Coach Flake might be looking at taking another time out here. So the Warriors will yeah. get it. What a great. And now the officials are what, getting together here. That was a great hustle play by Alex Roman there. Holy man. I thought that ball was going out of bounds. He grabbed it and he went down and put the. I think they're saying, Larry, oh, I see the ball uh, was thrown out from underneath and wasn't touched, so it goes back down to where it was thrown in. So they Warriors were inbound it, it where it went out of bounds. Right, right. So it goes back on the baseline for the Warriors under their own basket. Yeah. The inbound to Brown. Yeah, Strebler. Oh, that's Rue on Brown. Rue and Brown were talking before yeah. the game during the JV game. Yeah, Rue was talking to a lot of people. <laughs> Friendly guy. Yes. Erickson thought about a yeah. three. Now leaves it out for Brown. Warriors by two, 8.07 to go, first half. Roman, Brown, works inside, kicks it out to Erickson. Open three for Bryce, Ooh. off the rim, no good. Rebound yeah. comes to Meyer. Meyer down the right side for the Hornets. Strebler works out high. Meyer on the right wing, fires up a three. That one's off the rim, no good. Rebound, Byrne. Good job by Byrne. Erickson ahead to Brown. Brown works on the top of the key, goes to Erickson on the right wing. Lobs for Brown on the left wing. Splits a double team, goes to Erickson. Oh, Lobs nice. For Renz. Renz off the glass, good. Beautiful entry pass by uh, Bryce Erickson. 22 18, four point lead now for the Warriors. Strebler, Rue. Wheezy on the right wing. Strebler oh. out to Rue. Three on the way. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, Brown. Drew brings it into the front court for the Warriors. Fakes the layup uh, and then goes inside and gets fouled. Foul. Coach Flink thought there may have been extra steps there. That was on Healy. That'll and be his Brown second. To the line. Two shots for Drew Brown coming. Brown averaging 17 and a half a game for the Warriors, a 60% free throw shooter. 
His season high this year is 31. Yep. 31 points. I believe that was down at the Dells, wasn't it, against the Milwaukee? I uh, think so, yeah. yeah. Mason Renz had his yeah. season high the other night against yeah. Columbus Catholic. First free throw yeah. high off the back iron. No yeah, good. you know, uh, lately, you know, um, Mason has been kind of taking the scoring, and they've been getting finding more and more ways, and Mason has been a lot more uh, uh, shooting a lot better in the post than he was Finishing earlier. Finishing those yes, shots underneath, yeah. Second one for Brown coming, and that one is good. Brown with three points. Warriors lead by five now with seven minutes to go, first half. Strevler in the backcourt. Velker back in for the Hornets. Velker will bring it, or excuse me, that's Strevler. Goes to Lou, now Wheezy. Out to Velker. Oh, he and travel. travel. Travel on Velker. Yep. A lot of, uh, <laughs> they have something for everything out of that student body, don't they? <laughs> but um, a lot of unproductive trips in a row by the Hornets going down. Erickson. Looks like they've switched now to a 2-3 two, zone. 2-3, two, yep. Brown. Yeah, with, with Lopez out of the game, too, that makes a little difference. You don't have him his speed to chase. And Brown wants to go inside yeah, to yeah. subkey, but a good job yeah. down there by Meyer. Tucker Meyer had a, nice, had a lot of body on him. Byrne hits Lowry coming down, and he walked Did with it. it. Yep. Big little stutter step. Yep, yep. So the turnover gives it to the Colby Hornets. Warriors up by five with 6.23 to go here in the first half. Strevler working yeah. in the backcourt. Yeah, Tater. Looking for help. Tater amping it up over there. Rue in the paint, little floater, too strong. Rebound Brown. Hands it off to Erickson. He'll bring it the other way for the Warriors. Erickson to Brown. Brown works the right wing. Erickson left wing. Out on top, Brown, three on the way. Got it's it. good, he rattles it in. The lead is yeah. eight for the Warriors. Wheezy across the timeline. Kicks it back to Meyer. Meyer he he walked with it. So another turnover on yeah. a trip down the floor yep. by the Hornets. 5.45 to go here in this first half. Yeah, it, it, it was an 18 13 game, Larry, and oh, Brown. Oh. <laughs> Fortunately for the Warriors, that ball got knocked away, and, and Subke got yeah. it, and then Lowry Peyton, traveled. Another stutter step. Yeah, this so was a turnover right back yeah, to so, so the Warriors are out about a 13 0 run right now, so <laughs> change a five point deficit into an a eight point lead. Rue will inbound it, lobs it for Strevler. Strevler dribbles yeah. into the front court. Nice Knocked away by from Roman. by Roman, but yeah. they're going to say oh. Roman got a piece of him. Wow. Kind of a tough call on Roman there. That was good hustle, but... Uh, well, he called it on Erickson. Oh, okay, so that's two on Bryce, though. I'm not sure why that was on Erickson. No, I can't either. I didn't think he was anywhere around the ball. That's Wheezy in the corner for three. Ten points for him. 26-21, Nielsville. 5.19 to go here in the first half. Brown works around Strevler, gives it back to Subkey. Subkey in the corner. Roman, right side three, good. Seven for Alex yeah, Roman. Yeah, seven big ones for Alex Roman. Here's Velker in the paint. Little floater from eight feet, no yeah. good. Subkey with a rebound. Good look there yeah, for Velker. Oh yeah, he bet, just didn't drop for him. Subkey in the paint. Roman again. Three on the way. Oh. Off the front of the iron. No good. That would have brought the house down there. <laughs> Velker to Strevler. 29 21, Nielsville. Velker's got his right hand taped yeah, up. Yeah, I see good. that. Wonder if that's altering his shots at all. Could be. Oh. Strevler fakes <laughs> a shot or a pass, gets his own loose ball, yeah. and a reverse layup is good. I, uh, boy, you'd almost think he took a step there, but. First points for yeah. Strebler. Turnaround free throw jumper by Subke off the mark. Renz follows though, puts it up and in. 13 for yeah. Renz. Eight point lead for the Warriors. Meyer. Left elbow jumper for Meyer. Off the rim, no good. Renz had it. No. 
but couldn't find the handle. Rue has it. Now he yeah. lost it. Erickson's got it. Erickson to Brown, left wing. Oh, down inside nice Riggs pass. to the basket, off the glass and in. Ten point Riggs. lead for the Warriors. Yeah. And a timeout. This will be a full timeout. Yeah. 3.39 to go. Winter is just around the corner. Good news. We'll be back to the field house after this. Bad news. Winter is just around the corner. Good news. Custom heating of Nielsville and Marshfield will help you stay warm. With 0% interest, up to 60 months in qualified purchases, Custom Heating is your complete heating and AC sales and service company. Serving the entire area with preventative maintenance on all brands, both commercial and residential. Custom Heating is your rude dealer and has the best warranties in the industry. Let Tim, Clarissa, Christy, Larry, Mark, Harry, Jason, and Robert help you today. With 25 years of service, Custom Heating and cooling. We put the custom in customer. Back we come to the field house at Nielsville. The Warriors up by 10. 3.39 to go here in the first half. Gross Auto halftime report coming up. A lot of stuff going on here. Yeah, we headed yeah. to tournament time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep, the basketball seasons are winding down. Wrestling regionals are Saturday. Hockey uh, tournament starts next week. So just a big, big, big time of year. February and March, best months of the year, Larry. All right, it'll be Wheezy to inbound it. Gets it into Strevler. Wheezy gets it back. Kicks it right wing for Velker. Back to Wheezy on the left wing. Wheezy, Healy out to Strevler. Yeah, Lopez back in the game. Healy, right baseline. No, Lopez tries to follow, and then a foul is called. A Supke, I believe. Yeah, it is. Number two on Santana. So Supke picks up the foul. Team foul number five on the Warriors. Free throw by Lopez is good. Lopez with three points. Second one coming. That one is also good. 33-25, Nielsville. 316 left to go here in this first half. Subkey down inside. Renz. Nice hands yeah. by Mason yeah. Renz off the glass and in. Nice dump pass by uh, Santana Subke. Another big game here tonight for Mason Renz. They call that one on Roman. Roman got a little too close yep. to Belker. So both teams will be in the, the bonus, bonus on the next foul. Three minutes and one second left. So Strevler inbounds to Healy. Back to Strevler. Strevler pulls up, 12-footer. No. Rebounds Santana Subke. Back come the Warriors. Erickson to Roman. Erickson working out high. Now Roman on the right wing. Skips it left wing, Brown. Brown to Erickson. Erickson wants to shoot a three. And Got it! Erickson from the top of the wheel. Lee is now 13 for the Warriors with two and a half minutes to go, first half. Velker, Lopez. Now Healy. Back to Lopez in the paint. Kicks it out. Oh, Knocked nice away by Brown. Brown. And yeah. the Hornets will inbound on the far side. Velker will inbound at midcourt. Strevler, excuse me, mm -hmm. with the dribble. Now Velker. Wheezy, left wing, three off the mark. Rebound Brown. Good yeah. box off that time by yeah. Brown. Lopez is lucky he didn't get caught going up the back there because that would have been his third foul. Roman. Free throw line, Subkey nice. jumps down into oh. Renz, but that time help from Velker who Velker. knocked it away. Nice job by Velker anticipating that. 
Warriors will inbound underneath. Erickson to inbound it. <laughs> Must be something wet on the ball. The referee is wiping it off on his pants. <laughs> a little warm down on the yeah, court. Yeah, tonight. you bet. Erickson will inbound it. And here we go. Nice. Inbound to Brown. Brown in traffic, goes up <laughs> and puts it in. That's that leaping ability yeah. by Brown. And his strength too, Larry. You're not gonna stop him going up because he's so strong. 15 point lead for the Warriors oh. and we're gonna get Roman Good again run. for a reach. And that'll be bonus time. Roman will pick up his second. Yeah. Velker I think is at the line, so. So Brandon Velker at the free throw line. Warriors up by 15. Yeah. They were trailing by five at yeah, 18. A little 15. more than that too. I think a couple times they're down by seven. First free throw good for Velker. Yeah. And then Colby kind of ran into a streak of yeah. missing shots yeah, and turning missing the ball. Missing shots. Over. Yeah. And a lot of times, a lot of unproductive trips down where they didn't even get good shots. Larry, you know. And Second free throw, no good. Rebound, Subke. Yeah. Brown into the front court. Under a minute and a half left here in this first half. Here's Renz underneath, oh. overlays that yeah. one. And Strebler comes yeah. up with a loose ball. First time he's did that tonight. Strebler, Wheezy on the left wing. Back out Strebler. Lopez, free throw line jumper, off the rim, no good. Rebound Erickson. Again, Colby's had open looks, but well, yep, can't just get Just not dropping them. Just, they were dropping early and... Uh, Brown kicks it out to Erickson. Left elbow Subke. Back out to Brown. Under a minute to go now in this first half. Warriors up by 14. Brown to Erickson. Back to Brown. Top yeah. of the key for Subke. He looks inside. Yeah, Renz, Renz wanted it, but uh, just didn't feel comfortable throwing it to him. Lowry, free throw line. Jumper too strong. And the rebound, Strebler. Strebler comes out of there with it on the dribble. Strebler all the way down the floor, kicks it in the corner. Left side three, Lopez. Oh! Short rebound, uh -huh. or loose ball picked up by Lowry. A lot of air on that one. That I was think Coach Geyer just said one shot. Yeah, that was a wide open look for Lopez, too. And, and Lopez, Lopez just got his get a third foul. foul. And that too close to Brown. Yeah, and with 14 seconds left in the first half, Larry, too, that, that cannot make Coach Jimmy Flink too happy. That's three on Lopez. Yep. So he is going to sit down, and Meyer is going to check in. Both teams in the bonus. So Brown to shoot the one and one. First one is, or excuse me, the front oh, end. Oh, yeah. Ranzo got the loose ball, oh. misses the layup, and then Subke Subke's came gonna over get the back. Subke's going to get his third, which is not going to make Coach Geyer happy. Yep, that one's on. Oh, excuse me, that was on Renz. Oh, okay. It could have been either guy. A lucky break there. That was Renz first. Yeah, yeah, and you'll take Renz's first over Subke's third any day of the week. Meyer will be at the free throw line to shoot the one and one. 11 seconds to go in this first yeah. half. Warriors up by 14. Make it 13 as Meyer makes mm -hmm. the first free throw. Second one coming, and that one is good. 12-point lead now for the Warriors. Roman switching in for Lowry here at the end, probably you know, for his three-point ability. 11 seconds left. Pressure in the backcourt by yeah. Colby. Oh, Velker. I lost his shoe. Velker, Velker, Velker lost the wheel. Here's Subke. Turns right elbow. No. Oh. He had more time than yeah. I think he thought he had yeah, there. Right. Meyer for three at wow. the buzzer is no good. Yeah, then they forgot to defend Meyer on the way down, but uh, Warriors going to the locker room with a 12-point lead. 40-28 yeah. Nielsville here at the half. We'll take a look at the halftime numbers after this. Snow piles up quickly. Remove it just as quickly with Kubota subcompact and compact tractors. Our number one selling tractors are built to take on winter with front and rear mount snow blowers, blades, and rotary sweepers. 
Get select Kubota subcompact or compact tractors for zero down, 0% APR for up to 60 months and save $1,000. See your local Kubota dealer today. Your local When the last thing you need to happen does. One of our 17 mobile service trucks from Sherrill Tire and Service Center can get you rolling again. Sherrill Tire and Service Center is your locally owned commercial and farm tire specialist. Find us at SherrillTire.com. Back here at the Fieldhouse in Nielsville. Nielsville leads 40 to 28. The Warriors led in the first half by Mason Renz. Another big game for him. 17 points here in the first half. Andrew Brown with eight. Alex Roman with seven. For the Hornets, they're led by uh, Caden Weezy with 10. And then uh, also in the ball game, uh, Caden Healy and Brandon Velker each with five in the first half for Colby. But the Warriors lead by 12 here at the half. And, uh, you know, the Hornets had some looks on that well, first half, but. A lot of shots. You missed. know, they were heading them early, and uh, uh, Warriors started, you know, started picking them up, you know, half court and three quarter court, and uh, and I think that threw them out of their game a little bit. And then, you know, you know, the old adage is, Larry, you can't stay hot for that long all the time. You know, sooner or later, you're going to miss a few. And and the Warriors, you know, the Warriors have shown a lot this year. They get can get down early, but they have the ability to come back. So, so well, you know that. Happened with uh, Columbus Catholic the other night. Yep. They were cold yep. for so yep. long, yep. and then when they needed the threes, they got them. But the key is to stay in your game plan, and that's what Columbus does, and that's normally what Niels will. Niels will may amp it up a little bit with Lowry and, and things like that, but uh, you know, you, pretty much you got to stay true to your game plan. you got the two bigs inside. You, you know, you got to make sure you get it into them. And But... Uh, Just uh, announcing that the varsity game tomorrow night moved up to 6 o'clock, yeah. the girls' game against yeah. Granton. Yeah, Granton so. does not have a JV team. No. So, and then it also allows the, uh, the wrestling club to set up for the regionals <laughs> much earlier. So, <laughs> Speaking of wrestling, we'll yes. talk about that coming up here on the Girls' Auto Halftime Report. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken of Marshfield has been voted best pizza in Marshfield 12 years in a row. With popular choices like broccoli bacon cheese, drunken chicken, or any of the 25 specialty pizzas, Scotty's is ready to earn your vote now at 715-384-8118. Choose Scotty's for pizza, chicken, subs, sandwiches, and more. Carry out dining and delivery. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken, 715-384-8118. First things first with Mid-State Technical College. Dual credit programs earn you college credit in high school, then choose a path that suits you. Use your skills to start your career or transfer to a university to continue your degree. Choose a new career. Transition easily and quickly by upgrading your skills or continue your education with dozens of classes to get you on your path. No matter your stage of the game, your first move is Mid-State Technical College. We're all different, but we all want great health insurance. See why we're rated number one in service, coverage, and affordability in central Wisconsin. And Metford. So. Now, you look at some of these weight classes, where do you see some of the, uh, some of the good matches, really good matches uh, coming up? The best matches, I think, will come out of 120 because you'll, I believe you will have a Luke Dukes uh, Triakman rematch that was at conference. And they've met several times in the last couple of years. Luke dominated Ackman last weekend. Uh, wrestled very well. Ackman has been slowed a little bit by an ankle injury. So um, I look for that. In my mind, Larry, that is the best weight class. Um, you know, it's uh, 138. Uh, it's uh, Jarek Young and uh, Laskowitz from uh, Medford. Both very good wrestlers. Uh, you know, it's... <coughs> A lot of clear-cut favorites. You know, at 60, you know, you have Rothbauer from Bloober Colfax, 
170. Um, probably going to be Braden Elby from uh, Regis Altoona, 182. Probably Caden Weber from uh, Regis Altoona also. 95 is going to be Carter Grew. Um, Gunnar Hoffman, wherever he wrestles, 220 or heavyweight, he's going to be the favorite there. 45, Tanner Herlupka, clear-cut favorite there. Though he will get a little competition from Alex Poirier from Bloomer Koufax. They had a fairly decent match last weekend, but um, Halupka did end up beating him like 9-1 to one in the end. But uh, So you don't see some of those clear-cut favorites of having anybody that may no. surprise him at all? or Not really. You know, I, I you know there's some weight classes. Uh, you know, Ty Sigmund is... Uh, you know, definitely the favorite at 113, but you got a couple of good freshmen in Mason Wolf uh, from Spencer Columbus, who won the uh, Clover Belt last weekend, and Ethan Buchanan, who took third at the Clover Belt. Both good wrestlers, but both freshmen. Um, 126, Derek Schernitz is definitely, in my mind, is the uh, house favorite. Uh, 132, Hudson Opelt, uh, Sebastian Opelt should be the favorite there. Like I said, 52 is fairly open. Uh, Blanchard from Bloomer Colfax, so not, I, I don't see a lot of upsets, but one okay. thing I don't know, Larry, you know, I don't know a lot about uh, Chatech uh, Prairie Farm Co-op. I don't know a lot about their roster. The roster that they had up at uh, Northern Badger didn't do a whole lot, but, uh, you know, we'll see, you know, but, uh, you know, things changed since that time, too, so, but, uh, and then it'll be interesting, you know, if who comes out and what waits, too, you know, so. It might change. I don't see it personally, but uh, it could. So now they're going to be streaming these matches. Uh, you yep. said, "Yep, live stream on the school channels." Um, they're going to be using two mats, so they will have a camera on each mat. And of course, with the way the schools, you can switch back and forth. Uh, so, and uh, and we, will, I will be providing uh, whatever play-by-play -play analysis I can. You know, so um, right. people will know. Who's wrestling on what mat? What deck? Who's on deck and who's in the hole? So, if they do have to turn the channel, they will. So, so. All right. Yeah. That's coming up Saturday. Starts at 11. Mm -hmm. Again, the top two in each weight class advance on to sectionals. Right. And that's of course. And then the top team, Larry, advances to the team sectionals, which is uh, Tuesday night, uh, the 15th, which is up at Somerset. And uh, okay. You know, I right now, if I had to. Yes, I would think NGL should be the favorite for that, coming off what they did at conference. Um, where they're going to face, I don't know. You know, that's, uh, you know, uh, Amory and Baldwin Woodville coming out of that. Wh whoever comes out of that regional is going to be very tough. Um, I look for West Salem Banger uh, to come out of the Arcadia regional. I think they'll be the clear cut. I, they should be the clear cut favorite. Who knows? And then up north, out of, I don't know who's got the regional up there, but I would think Northwestern will be coming down from there. So they have the best team up there. So. All right, so high school wrestling coming up on Saturday. A lot of it coming up around the state. Yep. It's the Gross Auto Halftime Report. Nielsville leads here by 12 over Colby. Back after this. Millsville leads by 12 as we, as we start this second half. Uh, boys and girls hockey have their uh, tournament starting next week. First yeah. round games for Black River Falls Co-op girls. They'll play next Thursday at Hudson. Right. And the Black River Falls Co-op boys also next Thursday at West Salem Bangor. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, the boys are a five seed. I didn't catch what the girls seed was, but uh, they were. Uh, let me see what I got here. Girls are a seven seed. Again, boys hockey tomorrow night here yep. at 92.7 WPKG. At the Cranberry Cup. Black River Falls Co-op and Toma Sparta. Mm -hmm. 7 o'clock start time. 
All right, the Warriors and Hornets back to action here as we start yeah. the second half. Both teams with their starters. Yeah. Erickson works the left wing down inside. Oh, there's Brown, and Lopez just, just picked up his third, or is that his fourth? fourth? Yeah. Again, Lopez <laughs> trying to be a little over aggressive against Brown. Him. Yeah, he's trying to muscle him. And so four on yeah. Lopez. Inbound to Roman, off the glass, good. Nice inbounds play by the Warriors. Roman with nine in the game. The lead is 14 for the Warriors. Velker. Now Strevler out on top, underhands to Lopez. He All tries right. to get it into Healy, yep. and he threw it away. So far, Larry, the Warriors have done a really outstanding job on Richard Strevler. They are not giving him any looks from the three-point line at all. He has two points. He came in averaging 19. Yeah. Here's I, a lob for Renz. Nice Couldn't defense. Get it over. Nice job by Healy getting his hands up. Oh. Steal by the Hornets. Here's Strebler in the paint. Lobs for Lopez. Baseline off the glass. Good. Beautiful. Six for Lopez. Beautiful pass, though, by Strebler on that one. Now Weezy picking up Erickson in the backcourt. Yeah. Boy, uh, Coach Flink really rolling the dice here with Lopez. And they've got him pretty much one-on-one -on -one against Brown. Subke hands and it off to Erickson. Looking for the give and go there. Now Roman yeah. on the right wing. Tries a lob, does. Nice. Roll, or runs wide open underneath. He's got 19. You get it over the top of that yeah. defender, and yeah. Renz has got an open yeah. lane to the basket. Yeah. you got to get every inch of that 6'6 six, six body up there. Strevler. Velker, left wing. Inside Lopez, leaner, no good. Ball wow. tapped out, Lopez has it. Back up, counted, and a yep. foul. Three Warriors fought for that rebound, and none of them came away with it. And Lopez got it, got up the basket, and, and drew the foul. Lopez still paying, uh, yeah. playing strong there with those yeah. four fouls. Yeah. I should say that was, and, and, that, and that was Subke's third foul, too, Larry. So, But... Uh, a real poor job of the rebounding there by the Warriors. Lopez's free throw in and oh, out. Wow. Sub key with the rebound. Couldn't decide what's going to hang on that rim and go in or not. Brown the other way for the Warriors. Millsville leads by 12. Roman in the corner Ooh. for three. Misses yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing there for that one. Strevler the other way. Strevler in traffic. Goes to Wheezy. High off the glass. Mm. No. Rebound Lopez, and he's bumped by Brown. Yeah, all of a sudden the Warriors are not in position to rebound. Andrew Brown with the foul, his, his second. Yep. Two on the Warriors as a team. Two minutes in here in the second half. Nielsville up by 12. Lopez back at the free throw line, makes the first. Renz out, burn in. Lowry's also in for Roman. Free throw by Lopez. That one missed just barely yeah, barely caught the got, rim, apparently. Barely. barely. <laughs> Warriors got the rebound. Yeah. Brown working out there. Wow. Lost the handle, but Subke got it. Somebody's got to come and get that ball. Get it to oh, Brown. Wow. No. Try to bounce pass into Brown. Yeah, it's off Brown. He couldn't find the handle. Somebody's got to come out and get that ball from Subke. He's a sitting duck out there. Warriors with a little pressure in the backcourt. Strebler for Velker. Gets it ahead to Lopez. Lopez all the way to the basket. Yeah. Lays it up and in. He's got all seven of the points here. And that's here. a good move because he knows Subke doesn't want to commit his fourth foul. So he took it right at him. Seven points for Lopez here in the second half. The lead is now nine for the Warriors. In the corner... Lowry, he's going to fire up the three. Wow. Misses. Subke's there to clean it up. And a foul. Santana Subke, weak side rebound and the foul. And I think that's on Healy. That's his third. Yep. Each team with two team fouls. The free throw by Subke. Short. Oh, that's Rondo rebound. got the rebound. Across yeah. the burn. Lowry. Out to Erickson, open three. That one is oh. down. Got the front iron and then went in. The hometown bounce there, Larry. 
49-35, back to a 14-point lead now for the Warriors. Strebler, nice pass inside, Healy off the glass and in. And Coach Flink called timeout right away. So nice penetration, good uh, dish off by Richard Strebler, who also leads the Clover Belt in assists, by the way, too, 4.4 a game. Timeout by the Hornets, a 30-second timeout, 14.53 left. In this second half, Nielsville up by 12. Again, Nielsville and Columbus Catholic, each with one loss in the conference. Yep. Colby with two losses. Yeah, yeah. If this, uh, if the Warriors can hang on and win, and we've got a long way to go, folks, um, that would set up a monumental, pretty much set up a monumental matchup on the 21st, right here. So. And it would decide which team plays for first and which, which team, team plays, plays for, for second. second. Yep. The following Saturday <laughs> here in Nielsville. Yeah. So. Winter Carnival weekend. Yeah. Is when that would happen. State wrestling tournament weekend. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Dull moment. I think it's uh, girls regionals yep, too. Yep, yep. There's a Bad steal pass. by the Hornets. Down inside. Brown trying to save Bang it. it up. I think he just saved it, it off, off the Colby Velker. Hornets. He saved it off Velker. He dove out of bounds yeah. to get it. Threw it back and it went yep. off of Velker. That was a heck of a play there. So the Warriors will have it. Erickson will inbound yeah. it. Erickson looking. Lobs it into Brown. That was a dangerous yeah. pass there. Right underneath the basket, too. Colby's basket. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, look out. Lopez got close. Yeah. Here's Brown for three. Got it. Lopez almost picked up his yeah. fifth foul. Velker. Lopez to the basket. Lays it up. No. Rebound. Subke. Brown the other way for the Warriors. Brown with a leaner, and it's no good. Byrne going for the rebound, and they're going to say it was off Wheezy. Good job by Byrne. Had a nice position. 52-37, Nielsville. 14.09 to go. Second half. Erickson will inbound underneath. Lob into Subkey. Subkey with a fadeaway, and oh. rims off no good. good rebound, re Meyer. Yeah, good rebound by Meyer there. Strevler into the front court. Strevler, Velker, left elbow, tries nice to go inside. Back. Healy cutting to the basket, nice picked off by, by the Warriors. Brown got a hand in there. Erickson the other way for Nielsville. Works the left wing. Out on top for Subkey. Subke wanted to lob it in for Renz. Instead goes to Erickson on the left wing. Elker getting right on uh, Erickson out there. Erickson still on the dribble. Now goes to Lowry. Lowry's going to fire up another Ooh. three. That, that one no good. Velker with yeah. the rebound. Yeah. Strevler. Left wing three for Strevler. No. Rebound Subke. Yeah, that's and Rue oh, just got uh, a foul. No. Oh, no, we got a timeout. Oh. Sorry, I thought that was a foul. That whistle sounded exactly the right, same time I he reached in. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Hi, this is Van Patrick Oates from Rapids Awards & More. People ask, what is the more part of Awards & More? Well, that means that we're more than just an award store. We engrave glass, wood, plastic, guns, Yeti cups, metals, knives, and so much more. We're located on the web at Awards & More. Dot US. And if you're in the Wisconsin Rapids area, visit our physical store at 1210 Pepper Avenue or check us out on Facebook. Rapids Awards and more. More than just awards. Fifteen point lead for Dealsville with thirteen sixteen left to go. Warriors will have the ball. And the inbound will come to Roman who gives yeah. it back to Erickson. It's like the uh Colby has switched to a man to man with Rue on uh Brown. 
Oh. Inside oh. Renz. Oh, misses the layup, but is fouled. He'll shoot two. Renz with 19 points yeah. tonight. Second foul on Velker. Third team foul for the Hornets. Ooh. First free throw by Renz is short. Warriors will be at Spencer next Tuesday, and then they wrap up the season hosting Columbus yeah. Catholic next Monday. Yeah. So they get kind of a break yeah. here. It's going to be strange for them games. play one game. Ooh, very short. Both again. free throws short. Way short. Here's Strebler quickly into the front court. Back to Meyer. Meyer pulls up. 12-footer is no good. Renz rebound. Erickson gets a pick from Brown, able to get it into the front court. Goes into the corner, left side, Roman three, Ooh. short. Rue comes out of there with it. Good luck, just didn't hit it. Rue left side, out on the wing for Strebler. Still 52-37, yeah. Nielsville. Been a little low here in scoring. 12-23 left to go in this second half. Felker, cross to Rue, three on the way. Ooh. Short, but the... Yeah. Loose ball picked up by Strebler, and then he missed the reverse layup. Warriors get the rebound. Erickson gets a pick in the backcourt from Subkey. Now Subkey yeah. walked with it. He wanted to make yeah. a pass yeah. and then put it on the floor. Yeah. But Like I said, I, I, I just don't like to see Santana put that ball on the floor right there. The Warriors did win four in a row before the two-game losing streak right. here. They lost to Columbus yeah. Catholic Monday and then Tuesday yeah. to Stratford. Yeah. Gave it a heck of an effort up to Stratford, but you could just see in the second half the tired legs started coming in. And Meyer out on top. Wheezy right elbow. Yeah, he he walked with it. A little bit of a shuffle. He didn't know whether he was going to dribble it or shoot it. And Colby, meanwhile, they will be at Stratford Tuesday. Yeah. Then they have Spencer next Friday. Yeah, that'll be a, a possible uh, regional matchup there too, because uh, Colby and Stratford will be in the same regional, possibly. Inbound to Brown. Brown works against yeah. Rue, gets yeah. it across the timeline. Brown gives it to Erickson. Erickson's going to shoot a three and hit yeah. it. Nobody came out on yeah. him. He yeah, thought yeah. about it once and twice, and yeah. then he finally said, "I'm going to shoot it." Yep. Yeah. That's four threes on the night for Bryce. 55-37, Nielsville. Strebler down to Wheezy against Renz. Good. It's been a long time between baskets for Wheezy, though. He had 10 pretty quick early, Larry, and now he's, you know. He's got 12 now yeah. in the game. Brown ahead of the pass oh. to Renz. Renz oh, blocked, blocked by, by Healy. Healy. Strebler back the other way. Yeah. And then Strebler oh. threw it away. He lost the handle on the ball, yeah. bringing it down I, the floor. I don't, and then th he I don't think he, away. he realized he had his shortest teammate trailing him either. <laughs> in Rue, so. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure if the hand yeah. that he has taped is. Yeah, I don't know if that's bothering him or what, but, uh, you know, it's, that, it's his right hand. So. Yeah. Here's Roman. Left side, Erickson. Another three on the way. Ooh. Off the rim, yeah. no good this he, time. He was feeling it, but he just didn't get her to go. Good luck. Here's Rue in the paint. His shot yeah. off the mark. Yeah. Loose ball to Renz. Quickly uh, ahead, they come to Subkey. Left-hander off the glass and good. Subkey with six. The lead is 18 now for the Warriors. Ten and a half minutes to go in the second half. Wheezy, right elbow, too strong. Wow. Well, they're getting yeah, open looks, but they're way they're, off the yeah, mark. they're way off in this half. Here's Brown. Erickson, open three, off the rim, no good. Rebound, Rue. Was there. Now Meyer. Meyer in the paint. Leaner from eight is good. Eight, or excuse me, four for Meyer. 57-41, Nielsville. Brown down the lane. Count it, and yeah. a foul. I was waiting for the official. Yeah. And he said, yep, count it. Foul on Rue. Yeah. That'll be his first. Yeah. He sits down. Velker's back yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah, Rue's had a tough time tonight. 
So Brown yeah. to complete the three-point play. 13 for Brown. Yep. Make it 14. 60 to 41. Under 10 minutes to go now in the second half. Strebler underhands yeah. to Wheezy. Left wing three, too strong. Roman with the rebound. Brown down the right side. Goes to Roman left side. Top of the key, Erickson. Brown gets the handoff from Roman on the left wing. Working against Velker. Ro Brown's going to fire up a three Got and it. hit it. Second three and a half for Brown. 17 in the game now. Here's Strebler inside. His layup is good and a foul. Just the fourth point for Strebler. Yeah. I don't know who they called it on. Subke was in the area, though. It was yep, on Subke. That's four on him. Renz quickly off the bench. 20-point lead for the Warriors. Lopez back in there for the Hornets. 9-18 left to go, second half. Strebler's free throw, good. As they say, the three-point play the, the old-fashioned old fashioned way. way. <laughs> it was a three-pointer the old-fashioned yeah, yeah, yeah. way. Brown. Roman, right side, three. Ooh. Too strong. Red oh. fighting for the rebound. He's got it. Kicks yeah. it out to Erickson. Top of the wheel, three is oh. short. Burr oh, trying to oh, save oh. it. to Brown. Oh, what a play, play, by, what a what play a by, by Burn. What hustle by Burn. Meyer rattles it a three for the Hornets. 65-47 yeah. Warriors. 8.35 to go here in this second half. Brown into Burn. Burn in the paint. Kicks it out. Get out of the gotta get out of there, Burn. Brown down the lane, lays yeah. it up. Oh. Off the rim, no good. Rebound Velker. Velker head to Lopez. Lopez, gonna get a hand check out there. Probably a roll, oh, 15 Erickson. Three on Bryce. And Coach Geyer yeah, wants a 30 second yeah. timeout. 8.14 left to go, second half. Nielsville up 65-47. A little surprised by the score in this game. Yeah, I, uh, the way it started off too, uh, just you know, uh, Kobe come out like a house of fire, and then just about halfway through the first half, it just like they just became unproductive, uh, not hit, hitting their open shots, and then having so many trips that uh, just weren't even getting shots. And uh, and of course, the Warriors kind of feed off that, and uh, and uh, Warriors have been getting some really nice balance tonight. Ren's of course leading the way inside, but Erickson's had a nice night outside. Brown's had a good game outside. And then Roman's hit some threes too, and a lot of hustle by Roman, you know, kind of fueled that comeback too. So, and Subki has just been dynamite on the boards again. Against he had 22 the first game against Kobe, and, and I'm sure he's in double figures again tonight. So, inbound comes to Lopez. Lopez against Renz off the back iron, no good. Brown with the rebound down the right sideline. Yeah. Brown brings it back. Oh to the boy, middle. I tell you what, there's refs that would have called that on Lopez there, but. Brown kind of got in front yeah, of Lopez did. and yeah. had him trail. Oh. Burn <laughs> had his head turned away and almost got his head taken off by yeah, the pass. Strebler comes up with the steal. Strebler against Erickson and Bryce just picked up his fourth. Yeah. Strebler went pretty heavy into that uh, divider too. But uh, yeah, Burn, very poor play on Burn's part there. Wasn't looking for the pass and uh, ends up going the other way and uh, costing Bryce Erickson a foul and uh, two free throws for Strebler who is an excellent free throw shooter. Strebler averaging 19 a game. Yep. Makes the first one. That's only his sixth yeah. point. Lowry in, Subkey in. Erickson's gonna have to sit down. Yeah. Second one coming for Strebler. 
And it's good. 7.49 yeah. and counting. Yeah. Second half. Nielsville up 65-49. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I tell you, Lopez is all over Brown. He's flirting with that fifth foul, I'll tell you. Free throw line sub key? Oh. No, off the back iron. Strebler controls for the Hornets. Strebler spinning to the basket. Kicks it out. Meyer thought about a three. Now goes to Wheezy. Now Meyer. Strebler turnaround. Ten footer. No. Rebound Subke. Brown in the backcourt. Still a 16 point lead for the Warriors with 7-10 to go in the half. Second half that is. Warriors got to start looking back inside to Renz. He's got Meyer on him. And that's a definite mismatch inside. Brown. Works to the basket yeah. and is fouled. Is that on Velker or Lopez? No, it's on Velker. So to the free throw line goes Drew Brown. Seven minutes to go. Second half. Brown at the free throw line. First one for Drew is good. He'll get another one. And that one is also good. <laughs> 21 for Brown now. Renz has 19. Mm -hmm. Healy to Lopez, left-hander, good. <laughs> Went in well, there. Lopez with 13, and he's yeah. in the backcourt. Yeah. Almost got a steal. He's the only guy back there. Yeah. Erickson back in. Roman will sit down. Now they're going to put a little bit more pressure on in the backcourt. Man-to-man press. Erickson. Lobs it into the corner. Lowry, wide open for three. Oh. Too strong, but Renz is there yeah. to put it back up and in. It's almost like a pass. Yeah, yeah you almost got to give Tanner an assist on that one, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Lopez down the lane, lays it up. Good. Lopez having a good second yeah. half. He's going in there, flying in there with no fear, especially with Subke, uh, Subke back there with four fouls. 11 points here in the second half. That ball knocked out of bounds by Belker. Lopez has 15 to yeah. lead the way for the Hornets. Raylan Boyer coming in the game for here for a little bit. And Lopez averaging nine a game. Mm -hmm. Nice. Subke off the glass. Oh. No, misses it. Yeah, beautiful look in by Brown and a great look for Subke. Just couldn't get her to go. Meyer three on the right wing. Good. Got a 13 point lead, Larry, with six minutes to go. Erickson in yeah, the backcourt. He, he's right on that end line there, too. So. He was close to stepping yeah, out of yeah. bounds. Erickson better hurry up and get it yeah. across the timeline. Boyer in the right corner, knocked away by Velker. Boyer will inbound it. Erickson will inbound. Gets it into Brown. Cross to Boyer. Back out high to Brown. Free throw line. Subkey knocked away. Warriors able to get it back. Yeah. Down the baseline it goes to I Erickson. Have. And he got Healy up in yeah. the air. And Healy had nowhere to go <laughs> but land on Erickson. Nice job by Bryce Erickson. You're in no man's you know, land yeah. there. And that's four falls on Caden Healy too. So, And the next one, Warriors will be in the bonus. Erickson to inbound for the Warriors. Trying to lob it in there. Oh. For Renz, fortunately the Warriors got it back and then a foul is going to uh, be called. Uh, Velker, I believe. And it is. That's his fourth foul too, so. And Coach Flink asking the official yeah. something. I, I wonder if Coach Flink is saying that the ball hit underneath the backboard. Hit the backboard underneath. And is that uh, in bounds, so. Actually, it did hit that backboard. Yeah, right? but I, is that in play or not? Free throw by Subkey. The front end is no good. 
Quickly back come uh, the Hornets. Yeah, yeah, offensive foul. Boy, a late gesture yeah. by the official. Yeah. He said a foul, and yeah. then he put his hand behind and his it, head, and Lopez is yeah. fouled out. And either and whoever he called it on, Larry, was going to fall out of the game because it was Erickson and Lopez. Oh. And Erickson is at 4 2. So. so the foul on Lopez yeah. is fifth. Boy, what a second half, though, for Lopez. Yeah, he boy. Yeah. With 15. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, that guy really causes uh, hectic traffic. He's just all over the place. He's so quick. And. Uh, just causes the Warriors fits bringing up the ball. And uh, now that he's out, things will be a little different, I think. So Inbound yeah. to Brown. Because Brown he, across the timeline. He, he is their speed. Erickson yeah. to Brown. 5.14 left to go. Subkey inside. Backing in. Off the glass. Got it. Got it. And a foul. Now the officials getting together. Yeah. Was it on... The shooter, or was it uh, away from the ball? Yeah, it was uh, away foul, from the ball. But the Count foul, the basket. The foul was on Ren, so. Yep. So it was away yeah. from the ball. Usually that's the case when yep. they get together like that. Yep. The foul was on Ren's. Uh, that's only the six-team foul, so they'll be shooting. And only Ren's only second, so. 15 point lead for the Warriors. Five minutes to go. Mm. Healy, Strevler, Wheezy thought about a three. Now pulls up right elbow. Good. 14 for Wheezy. Roman gets it across the timeline for the Warriors. Lobs it for Erickson in the corner. Brown open for three. Ooh. Short. Warriors have kind of dried up on the threes here. Here's Meyer. That's going to be it. And a blocking yeah. foul, and Erickson has fouled out. Yep. Well, now you got Bryce Erickson, one yeah. of your ball handlers, out. Yeah. yeah, so Lowry will come in, but I think you'll, what you'll see, Larry, is I think you'll see Brown bring the ball up. So Erickson fouls out yeah. with 12 points. Yeah, good game by Bryce. Four threes. Mm -hmm. And that's what you missed, too, yeah. from when he goes out. Yeah, yeah. His outside shooting. Yeah, that takes one of your shooters away. That puts you down pretty much to uh, Brown and Roman. First free throw, by the way, missed by Meyer. Second one is good. Meyer with nine here in the second yeah, half. 11 the, in the They got the lead down game. to 12 with four and a half minutes left, so they've got enough to make a run yet. Brown to Roman. Yeah. Back to Brown. Yeah. Free War throw line, sub. Yeah, you know, Warriors can work a little clock, but they can't, you know, they got to uh, still look for the offense. Work the clock and get a basket. Yeah, an easy basket. Here's Lowry. Well, one-hander good on the right baseline yeah. for Lowry. 73-59, Warriors. Four minutes left. Wheezy spots up three in the corner. In and out. Rebound, Strevler back up and yeah. in. Smallest guy on the court getting the rebound basket. Brown lobs ahead for Roman into the front court. Down inside Renz, posting up. Little yeah, one-hander is good. 23 for Renz. Meyer. Three and a half minutes left. Healy, Strevler, backing in against Subke. Out to Wheezy. Baseline, Velker. Shot, no. Rebound, Subke. Brown will bring it across the timeline. Goes to Lowry in the corner. Lowry's got to get it out of there. Good look out to Roman. Roman to Brown. Back to Roman, left wing. Free throw line, Subke. Subke, Strebler on him, yeah. now goes to Roman. Counting down to three minutes left. Subke, oh, oh he had Renz oh, down there. Oh, boy. Renz had good position. Yeah, that's a little too far away from the basket for Mason there. Roman out on top with Strebler on him. 75-61, Nielsville. Roman lobs in for Renz. Renz Beauty. in traffic, got it to go. 25 for Renz. 77-61, Nielsville. 2.38 left. Wheezy. Meyer. Underhands to Wheezy. Long three. 
off the front of the rim, no good. Velker high yeah. to get the rebound. Strevler in the corner, his three is short. Oh. Healy follows and is fouled from behind by Brown. Third foul on Brown. Well, this will put Healy at the free yeah. throw line. He will shoot two. Each team now with eight team fouls. First one by Healy, no good. Pretty interesting. Coach Flink doesn't have anybody on the free throw line right now. No, nope, he's got everybody. It's in, yeah, yeah and, and, uh, usually don't do that. Yeah, that, I'd say Healy. That first one was a brick, and the second one was a brick also. So, you know, you take away any chance of a rebound doing that. Brown will dribble around out high. Now leave it for Roman. Roman hands it to Subke, and he's bumped from behind by Meyer. Yeah, two oh eight left. I think that's almost. You could almost look at that, Larry, as a hack, a shack, a hack. There, you're down by 16 with two minutes and eight seconds. Subke hasn't made a free throw yet tonight, so you're going to take uh, probably the best option on the floor to foul right now. One and one for Subke. Front end for Santana yeah. is no good. Rebound Meyer. Velker. Yeah. Underhands to Strevler. Strevler to the basket, high off the glass, good. 11 for Strebler yeah. now, and a foul in the backcourt. It's on Velker, and that is his fifth. fifth yep. So Velker fouls out. So Brown will, have, Brown will be in the double bonus. So Brown to shoot two free throws. Under two minutes to go in yeah. the game. First one by Drew is good. <laughs> 22 points for Brown tonight. Renz leads all scores with 25. Second free throw, good. 79 63. Ooh. Meyer, three-pointer, top of the key is no good. Wheezy got the rebound, pulls up from 14 and hits. 16 for Wheezy. Inbound to Lowry. Yeah. He's immediately fouled by yeah. Wheezy. Yeah, it's only Wheezy's second, so Tater will be at the line to shoot two shots. Well, you know you got to score points yeah. when you go against Colby, and yeah. Nielsville has 79. 79. You know, they, they put up 68 the last time, um, and, uh, you know, they... You know, of course, the Warriors, they, they shoot awfully well in the field house too, Larry. They seem to struggle when they get away from the field house, but uh, they shoot well in the field house. First one for Ooh. Lowry, in and out. Yeah. Lowry with a good contingent of family up yeah, there. Oh the boy. Yeah, oh, boy. Yeah, the Montgomery clan. <laughs> Big Bill's up there. Yeah. Grandpa Bill. The Grandpa Bill. And mom. Second one, no good. Yeah. Grandma Punk, too. So. Yep. <laughs> oh, and Rue, Rue on stepped on the sideline on the far side. When he got that pass from Wheezy in the corner, he yeah. stepped on the sideline. So the Warriors will get it. With a minute 34 left, leading by 14. Roman will inbound. Got to get a little more help back here, I think. Lobs it ahead to Brown. Oh. <laughs> Brown, the athleticism yeah, of Brown, Brown yeah, able to get that ball. Here's Roman to the basket, lays it up. Oh. No. Rebound Meyer. Yeah, he. Uh, I don't think Coach Geyer was happy with that because he had uh, he had uh, Reds all alone on the block, and uh, he went up and tried to throw it up off the glass. And Lowry got foul yeah. or got the foul. Excuse me. Boyer in. Yeah. Another good floor game by Taylor, uh, Tater Lowry again tonight, too. Oh. Rue on the inbound goes to Wheezy. Top of the key three. In and out and back in. Got her down to 11 with just over a minute left. Brown in the backcourt. Yeah. Brown going against wow. four <laughs> players. He got around them all. Goes to the basket, no, no shot. Rue. Give me two free throws. 
fouled him before the shot, yeah. but Brown will still get two free throws. In the NBA, that would account. You betcha. Oh time, yeah. But <laughs> the old continuation rule, Larry. Sometimes you wonder how far you've got to go, yeah. <laughs> or can go in the NBA. Brown makes the first free throw. 80 to 68 with a minute left. Second free throw coming. Good for Brown. Seven of eight from the free throw line. Full time out. I believe Warriors called it. One minute left. 81-68 yep. Nielsville. Yep. Back to the field house at Nielsville after this. Grassland Dairy Products is your match for an exciting new career today. Go to grassland.com to see the opportunities waiting for you. Browse through careers like CDL truck driver, shipping and receiving, line tech, quality assurance, forklift, maintenance tech, inventory associates, and more. Great compensation, weekly pay, and zero premium company paid health, dental, and life. Apply now at grassland.com or in person at Grassland Dairy Products, Fairground Avenue, just south of Greenwood. Eighty-one sixty-eight Nielsville. A minute left to go. Just a reminder: the girls' game tomorrow night is a six o'clock start with yep. Granton. Yep. No JV game, and so they'll go with the varsity at six o'clock and go from there. Colby will bring the ball down, trailing by thirteen with a minute left. Meyer will take the inbound and bring it into the front court. Rue on the right wing. Out on top, Meyer. Three on the way for Meyer. No good. Rebound inside. Comes to Healy and then picked off by Brown. Brown on the other end will lay it up. Oh, blocked by Meyer, yeah. but a foul. Nice block by Meyer. But uh, you can hear, you hear it on the arm all the way up here, Larry. Meyer and Brown kind of yeah. <laughs> laughing, yeah. joking there on that one. Well, these kids get to know each other over the oh, summers yeah. and... Uh, you, know, well, you play against them since yeah, they were yeah. probably fifth grade. Yeah, third grade probably. Yeah. You know, and, it's, uh, and it's just not basketball, it's baseball, and it's also uh, football too. So. so, First one by Brown is good. Yeah, I see that now with my boys working and, up through the ranks. Yeah, you see yeah, those same yeah, kids yeah, you, coming you through. through school and Both free throws yeah. made by Brown. Yep. 44 seconds left. Rue Wheezy, long three off the back iron. Loose ball picked up by Brown. Brown gets it ahead to Roman. Roman, yep. Roman on the other end, lays it up and in. 11 yep. for Roman. That puts, a, puts a lid on it, Larry. Meyer for three is short. Boyer going after Roman. the rebound. Wheezy takes it away. Rue in the corner. Oh, Brown, Brown, Brown. 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 <laughs> and trying to save it was Renz, but he was out of bounds. Wow. Brown got high on that one. Yeah. Wow, that was a block by Brown there. 85-68, so. Wheezy for three, good. Wheezy finishing strong, he's had a big night. 22 points. Brown in the backcourt. Yeah. To Roman with six seconds, yeah, yeah. five seconds. Warriors are going to come away with a win here tonight and set up a big matchup yep. on the 21st of February. Yep, it's going to be for all the marbles that night. However, they have Spencer on Tuesday yes, night. Yes, yeah, they have to go up to that new dome. We'll see. So. And that'll do it. Yeah. 85-71. Great win by the Warriors. Come back and take a look at the... Final numbers in this one after this. Mm -hmm.
Masonville Dairy, family owned and operated, bringing you fresh cheese curds made daily, along with many other varieties of Wisconsin made cheeses and treats. Don't forget to check out our cheese and sausage trays for your upcoming parties and cheese and sausage gift packages for the holiday season or any other special occasion. Nasonville Dairy, located just southwest of Marshfield on US Highway 10, nasonvilledairy.com. All right, so we're here with, uh, with Kim Hyman. Uh, Kim, Nasonville Dairy, 125 years in the making. Uh, right. Tell us about that. You know, it's fantastic. It was the first plant built in Wood County back in 1885. Sal Nason and his family came here and uh, they started a small dairy plant. Uh, eventually that plant burnt down, but then they rebuilt onto this same facility. And uh, our family moved here in the late 60s in 1968 and took it over from there. And it's been just a fantas fantastic growth. Great community, great people we have working for us. Oh, it's been, it's an open market, it's huge. You know, the, the opportunity for the diversity in the cheese industry is fantastic. And, and you have to be that way in order to sell a lot of product. And so we've got a great group of people with working on the research and development side for us. So it's been really fortunate for us. All oh, right, we have 185 farm families that market their milk through us here at Nasonville Dairy. And we are so lucky we have like the best dairy farms in not only in central Wisconsin, but in the United States, uh, marketing milk through us. So we're just really fortunate on that side. Actually, we started in 1968. Our father brought us here uh, from another cheese plant in Wisconsin. We had come in from the cheese business. We've always been in the business. We had moved around the state in different parts. He brought us here about that time. The plant ran 7,500 pounds of milk at that time and now runs about 1.5 million a day. So. Originally started out with making cheddar, and now we make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Pizza Cheese, Quesa Blanca, Quesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta, Caseri, Cafeteria, Cafla, Graviera, as well as making some Gouda, Edom, and a little bit of uh, Munster on occasion. 